good news for Kenya and we want to talk more about that now and we're joined by His Excellency Dr. Martin Kimani who is the Kenya's permanent representative to the United Nations and if you want to participate in our discussion tonight please tweet us his Twitter handle is at Kenya Diplomat and of course um, if you're on Twitter you've seen a lot of conversations he's been having over the week thank you so much for joining us tonight so UNEP has been upgraded explain to us exactly what that means uh, well, what it means is uh, you, we have had UNEP here for 42 years. Uh, and in 2012, because of how prominent the environment is uh, in terms of the global agenda, in terms of getting people good jobs, in terms of agriculture, in terms of sustainability, uh, it was decided by global leaders um, that UNEP should be the leading global environmental authority that it should take a lead within the UN system in uh, looking into issues of the environment and env environmental sustainability, and that from here henceforth, um, the governance of UNEP and the political platform on which would be discussed and debated environmental issues would happen here in Nairobi, and that is what is called the UN Environmental Assembly. Right. And it's, so it is essentially the whole world um, coming to Nairobi for this one week. And it's not just about the conference. This has some great significance for Nairobi as a center for environmental matters and with UNEP now having its upgraded status. Tell us about that. Um, well, on top of how we always uh, we talk about Nairobi as the green city in the sun, mm -hmm. uh, we can now begin to talk to about Nairobi as the world environment capital. It means that go the most important issues, the most important problems are facing humanity when it comes to the environment will be discussed and decided here in Nairobi. The domino effect really means, one, um, the attention on our green economy and those aspects of our economy that are green is going to be higher than ever. Mm -hmm. It means the number of visitors, it means the number of scientists and thinkers uh, who have Nairobi on their mind because of this meeting being here. And not just Nairobi, the whole of Kenya is going to rise. And our story with UNEP uh, as a country has been a story of a steady rise together. Mm -hmm. uh, so today we find UNEP as part of a large campus mm -hmm. uh, and a global United Nations headquarters. There are only four of them mm -hmm. and Nairobi is one of them. That means all the member states will now be have some permanent representation in Nairobi as well. And that's a good thing for, for the status of the city and of the country? Well, we're hoping so. Mm -hmm. um, we think that as the issue of environmental debate and environmental governance becomes more prominent and Nairobi becomes indeed the world environment capital, more and more countries are going to choose Nairobi to be where to base new embassies. We're already a, a diplomatic hub for the region, but this new upgrade can only help us become even more so. All right. Um, just for the ordinary Monenchi, uh, you know, watching, environmental matters sometimes aren't always the things that they relate with on a day-to-day -day basis. Why should the ordinary Monenchi care about this huge uh, uh, achievement for Kenya? Well, on the contrary, Yvonne, the majority of Kenyans make their living from the soil. The majority of them are farmers. And so for them, the quality of water is extremely important. When they are m tracking their goods to, 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 the, to the city, the issues around um, the way the fuels that are used, all these things add up to actually subtracting or adding money that farmers earn. Okay. And so what we, I think the world hasn't done a good enough job in is actually connecting ordinary day-to-day -day people with these high level debates mm -hmm. but this we may be speaking and everyone will have suits on mm -hmm. but at the end of the day what kenya is looking for from this environmental assembly is to make the lives of our people better all right just very quickly because i know we're running out of time this is coming on the backdrop of reports we're seeing in the papers usa east africa is moving from here closing shop going to djibouti the u.s embassy is also downscaling its operations here uh, can you tell us about this and the contrast that it is is this uh, the true picture that's being painted just briefly if you can there's a lot of misrepresentation one, the U.S. continues to have a massive presence here in Nairobi. The diplomatic presence in Nairobi is growing. At the U.N. alone, we have 15,000 people who directly eat off the 5,000 staff who work there. We have 27 U.N. agencies. We have 50 U.N. programs and offices there. Actually, 60 with 50 in Gigiri. And U.N. aides just relocated their global 
IT hub to Nairobi. The World Health Organization just relocated their global security hub to Nairobi. Two UN agencies in the last month have opened new offices here in Nairobi. This is a misrepresentation that actually risks Kenyans not understanding how much they have to be proud of. Okay, thank you very much for that. And we do look forward to the conference as it begins tomorrow to the Assembly. And uh, thank you so much for making the time to be with us today and to uh, share your thoughts. And of course, uh, also enlighten us quite a bit on how significant this is for Kenya. If you want to engage him some more, he is quite active on social media, on Twitter. The handle is at Kenya Diplomat as the UN Assembly convenes tomorrow for the next five days. Been speaking to Dr. Martin Kimani, who's Kenya's permanent